We continue to follow breaking news. Colonial Pipeline restarting its operations happening just within the last hour, but the company warns it could take several days before the supply chain catches up and you really see a difference at a gas station. A cyber attack shut down the pipeline five days ago. It was a major hit considering the line supplies 45% of the fuel to the East Coast. So each day of the outage, we saw more hoarding, more panic buying across Metro Atlanta. 46% of stations in Georgia are dealing with fuel outages right now, according to Gas Buddy. Only South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia have it worse than us tonight. So our team is dedicated to getting you answers about how this is impacting you and the timeline for when it will return to normal. So we want to go to Doug Richards first. He is live in Atlanta after speaking with Governor Kemp. He has been kind of on the sidelines of a crisis. The governor said today uh, that he was poised to help, that he had tried to communicate that with both federal authorities and folks at Colonial Pipeline. But uh, as this unfolded during the course of the last couple of days, they really hadn't given the state many options. The Colonial Pipeline, which shut down late last week, controls 45 percent of gasoline supplied to Georgia. Georgia is one of 17 states affected by the shutdown, and Atlanta is two to 300 miles away from the closest refineries in Memphis and Tuscaloosa, Alabama. There are refineries further away in the Midwest and South, but none in Georgia. It's the distribution system that becomes critically important for getting the fuel from the refineries into Georgia. But the real issue, according to industry specialists, is consumer behavior. Long lines of motorists fueling up have drained fuel supplies at gas stations within hours that would normally take a couple of days to empty. Anytime there is a you know, spike in demand you know, where, where you see panic buying, it, it's going to cause those disruptions in the, in the supply chain because you have to be able to fill the tanks back up at the stores that much faster. At the state capitol, Governor Brian Kemp echoed the call for Georgia motorists to stop overstocking fuel. It's frustrating for me, frustrating for a lot of our citizens when you see pictures of people literally filling up, you know, 50, 100-gallon water tanks. There is no need to do that. Uh, there's no need to fill up every five-gallon can that you have at your house. The governor said this afternoon, that uh, the state had offered the escort services of the state patrol to tanker trucks uh, should uh, the gas companies need them. Uh, nobody took them up on that. Uh, the governor said ultimately the best thing that could possibly happen would be simply for the not only for hoarders to stop hoarding gas, but also for the pipeline to reopen. Uh, at least uh, there was some good news on that front late this afternoon. Back to you.